This is how you can make an auto publisher system for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership or a subscription over on discord. On YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you get access to that source code. And on discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, I mean, my team will code you a personalized custom discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go and get into the video. So we can start by going over to our schemas.js and we're going to go ahead and create autopublish.js. Now in here you're going to go ahead and create this exact code. You're going to want a guild which is going to be a string and a channel which is going to be an array. If you have not set up the mongodb stuff go ahead and watch the mongodb guide in the description below. So after doing that we can go over to community and we can go ahead and create autopublish.js. In here we can do const and we're going to get slash command builder. We can get our embed builder. We can get our permissions bit field and we can also get our channel type and then we can do equals require and we're going to get discord.js we can do const and we can get publish schema and then we can do equals require we can do dot dot slash we can do dot dot slash we can do schemas and then we can go ahead and get auto publish and after that we can do module.exports we can do equals we can open this up we're going to do data and that's going to be new slash command builder and go ahead and set a name and this is going to be auto then we can go ahead and set a description this is going to be set up and disable your auto publisher system and then we can add a sub command we can do command and arrow function command uh, set name. This is going to be publisher add. And we can set a description. We can say adds a channel to the auto publisher channel list. We can add a channel option and we can do option arrow function option uh, set name. And this is going to be the channel. We can go ahead and set a description and we can say the channel you want to auto publish. And we can add channel types and we can do channel type dot guild announcements. And then we can go ahead and set required in order to make that true. Then we can go ahead and create another sub command and this is going to be add sub command we can do command arrow function command dot set name and that is going to be publisher remove and we can go ahead and set a description and we can say remove a channel from the auto publisher list then we can go ahead and add a channel option we can do option arrow function option dot set name this is going to be a channel and then we can go ahead and set a description we can say the channel you want to remove from the list and we can go ahead and add channel types so we can do channel type dot guild announcements and then we can go ahead and set required and make that true and after that we can add a comma we're going to do async executes we can do interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up in here we're going to say if we're going to say no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has we can go ahead and get permissions bit field we can do dot flags and we can go ahead and get our administrator we can return awaits interaction or apply and we can say contents and we can say you don't have perms to manage the auto publish system and and we can go ahead and set informal to true. Then we can do const sub equals interaction dot options dot get sub command. And uh, we can also do const channel equals await interaction dot options dot get channel. And that is going to be channel. Then we can go ahead and switch and we're going to get sub and we can open this up. In here we can do const data equals await publish schema dot find one. And that is going to be guild. There's going to be interaction dot guild dot id. Then we can do const embed equals new embed builder. We can go ahead and set a color and that is going to be blue. Then we can go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and open this up we're gonna go ahead and get a mailbox i guess we can say and we can go ahead and say all messages sent in and we can get channel and we can say it will be auto published now one thing i did forget to do is we're actually going to go ahead and get our case and this is going to be publisher add and we can add a colon and that should fix that error then down here we can say if and we're going to get no data we can go ahead and open this up we're going to do await interaction or apply and we can go ahead and get embeds and we can get our embed and we can also set informal to true so so we'll do that. And we can do a way to publish schema.create. We'll open this up and get our guild, which is going to be interaction.guild.id. And we can get our channel, which is going to be an empty array like that. And then we can do a way to publish schema.update one. And we can get our guild, which is going to be interaction.guild.id. Then we can do comma. And then we can open up some more braces and we can do a money sign. We can do push. And we can do this again. We can get channel. And that is going to be channel.id. So then we can go ahead and say else and we can open this up we can go ahead and say if and we can say data dot channel dot includes and we can do channel id and then we can go ahead and return await interaction dot reply you can say content and we can say the channel you selected has already been set up for auto publishing and we can go ahead and set informal to true then we can actually go ahead and copy the update one from above we can go ahead and paste that down there and we can also go ahead and do await interaction dot reply and we can get 
embeds and we can go ahead and get our embed and we can go ahead and set infermal to true as well so after doing that we can go ahead and break and we can go ahead and get our case and this is going to be publisher remove then down here we can actually go ahead and copy our data so we can put that in there and we can call this data one and we can say if no data one we can go ahead and open this up we're going to return await interaction or apply and we can say content and we can say you have not added any channels to the publisher system and we can go ahead and set informal to true and we can say else and we're going to open this up in that else statement we're going to go ahead and copy that line of code that we put up there and instead of data we're going to get data one then we can come down here we're going to say else we can open this up we can go ahead and create an embed we can actually go ahead and copy the embed we had above we can go ahead and paste that down there and we're going to go ahead and remove everything in the description we can open up more emojis i'm going to get this one and then we can go ahead and say channel and we can say has been removed off of your auto publish list and then we can go ahead and actually send this so we can do a ways interaction or apply we can say embeds and we can go ahead and get our embed we're going to set informal to true then we can do a way to publish schema dot update one and that is going to be guild which is going to be interaction dot guild dot id we do comma we're going to open this up and we're going to actually get poll and then we can do this again and we're going to say channel and that is going to be channel dot id so after doing that we can actually go ahead and save the file and we're going to go over into our index.js in here we can give this a title we're going to say auto publisher logic and we can go ahead and do const publish schema equals require and we can get dot slash we can get schemas and then we can go ahead and get auto publish then we can do client dot on and we're going to get events dot message create we can do async message and open this up we're going to start by saying if and we're going to say message dot channel dot type is not equal to channel type dot guild announcement then we're going to return and just do nothing then we can say if we're going to say message dot author dot bots we can also just go ahead and return and do nothing and also we can say if and we're going to get message dot content that starts with and we can put in anything we would like but the period is what we're going to be using for this and i'll explain this a little bit later then we can go ahead and return then we can say else and we're going to open this up we can do const data equals await publish schema dot find one and we can get guild which is going to be message dot guild dot id and then we can go ahead and say if no data we can go ahead and return and then we can say if no and we can get data dot channel dot includes and we can go ahead and get message dot channel dot id then we can also so just return then we can go ahead and try we're going to open up a try here we get message dot cross post so that's basically just going to go ahead and publish it we can go ahead and catch our e and we can just go ahead and return and do nothing because we don't actually have to send any messages if the message isn't going to publish we can just go ahead and return and do nothing and that's actually all we have to do for the logic and the actual setup commands and disable commands so we can go ahead and save both files turn on the bot and test this out over in the discord server we can go ahead and test this out so we're going to get auto publish and we can either get add or remove and i'm gonna obviously set this up so i've gone ahead and created two announcement channels this one i have no idea what that is but we have two so we can go ahead and set up the first one and we can go ahead and send that and as you can see it's going to say all messages sent in test will be auto published so all we have to do is just go in here and we can go ahead and send a message we'll just send anything and as you can see it's going to auto publish i didn't click any buttons and i didn't edit it it automatically published it so we can try this again and as you can see it's going to keep publishing it you can see that message at the bottom goes away without me doing anything and they're all going to be published remember before i said you can put in anything for that logical statement and i said i would mention it later so basically what that is is we actually put in a period so the message started with the period and we can go ahead and send a message now as you can see because it started with a period, it is not going to go ahead and publish. So if you don't want the system to actually go ahead and publish it, all you have to do is add a period at the start of the message. So we can do announcement. And as you can see, it's not going to publish. But then if we take that period away and we do announcement just like before, as you can see, it's going to go ahead and auto publish. All right. So one more thing I forgot to actually do within the setup and remove is for our publish remove. When I went ahead and copied this, I forgot to add a no. So we actually have to add an exclamation mark there. And then we actually can go ahead and edit this so in here we can go ahead and say the channel you selected has not already been set up you cannot remove it and that's actually all we have to fix so we can go ahead and turn on the bot and try to remove it all right so over in the discord server we can go ahead and test this out one more time so we can do publisher remove this time we're going to go ahead and get that channel and as you can see it's going to remove it off the publish list so over in here we can go ahead and send some messages and it's not going to publish any of them so that's so you can make an advanced auto publish system for your discord.js version 14 bot if you need any any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out and with that i'll see you guys in the next video